So it's the background eraser tool in Photoshop Elements that we'll be talking about. It's a great tool. You're really going to love this tool. Let's go ahead and go to the toolbar. And there's the eraser tool. And the background eraser tool is right behind the eraser tool. You have to left click and hold. And now look, I'm going to show you how this thing works. Let's zoom in real close. And you see that plus sign there? Wherever you left click and release with the plus sign is going to be the color that Photoshop Elements will erase. Just like that. It's very, very easy. Now we're going to move up to the hair. You think it might get a little harder, but it's really not. You don't have to worry about where the big circle gets onto your subject because it's only going to erase the color that is underneath the plus sign. Click right in there, and uh, let's gonna fast forward that a little bit. And we're going to come down this way. Now, if my plus sign was somewhere on the skin, it would erase that color of skin. But we're going to keep it right in the color white, so that the background eraser tool is only erasing the color white. Anything but the color white will not be erased. So it's very easy to get rid of a background with the background eraser tool. We're going to do a little uh, troubleshooting uh, after we do this. So now that I'm pretty much finished here, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the toolbar and I'm going to get the regular eraser tool and just get rid of some of this excess white in my image. Alright. Now, if we uh, go ahead and move the subject, you can see how what a great job the background eraser tool did. If you look around the wisps of his hair, it did a really nice job. Alright, let's do some troubleshooting. So we're going to go here to the new layer button, create a new layer, and we'll create a new layer, and let's drag this new layer underneath the layer of the image of our subject. Make sure it's underneath. And now we're going to go back to the toolbar, and we're going to select the rectangle tool, and we're going to draw a blue rectangle. It's going to be behind our subject. Boom. And there it is. Now, if you look real close up here around the hair, you kind of see like the white highlight from some of the white that's left over. So we're going to go down here to the sponge tool and select the burn tool, which is behind it. Now what does this say? This shape layer must be simplified before proceeding. It will no longer have a vector mask. What does that mean? Oh, I don't get it. I should just give up this Photoshop stuff. Well, what it meant, what you just saw, is you have to actually be on the layer of your subject for this to work. So now, as you can see, the burn tool is working nice and getting rid of that, that white highlight around my subject so that he'll fit into an image or a solid background with a little bit darker, which is a little bit darker than the original. All right, now let's go ahead and go to the Undo History panel and let's go back to before we start using the Burn tool because I'll show you some other things that you can do. You see the white highlight, but you'll also see that it works out pretty good uh, if we go to a lighter color, like this, uh, this light green here. Now, if you don't know how to select a color, uh, you just go ahead and go down to the color swatch here, click on it, and the color picker window opens up, and you can select the range of color you want to be in, and then the exact color right there, and click OK, and now again, I'll just click, left click and release, and there's my new color. We'll try it one more time with the yellow, and basically, there you go. But now we got to do one more thing, because this is really why you want to remove a background in the first place, is you want to... Take your subject maybe and put it into a completely different image. So we're going to select the move tool. And now I'm going to just pick up my subject and move them over to the new image. And it's pretty seamless. I do have a little bit of white highlight so I can just go back and go uh, behind the sponge tool and grab the burn tool and just get rid of some of those highlights. And he's going to fit in really nice to this new image. And that's basically it. It's a great tool. The background eraser tool from Photoshop Elements. This is Info Puppet. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to the button up top. Thanks again from Info Puppet.